What's up, Concert Addicts? Johnny Kenslotter here with Concert Addiction with some tour news, kind of a tour announcement, uh, but we have no details. We do know that this tour is probably happening, though. I don't think that they would have said all this if it wasn't. Um, and that is that The Who is planning on doing a 30-day arena tour in the United States this year, a symphonic tour. So they're going to team up with local symphony orchestras and things like that wherever they go. And it's going to be on the heels of a new album, or maybe before a new album. Um, but Pete Townsend uh, did an interview with the Rolling Stone, I believe, and the article dropped today. He revealed that, yeah, new music's coming this year along with that tour. They haven't released a new album in over a decade and uh, Pete Townsend said in the interview that uh, he didn't want to sign on to do another tour unless they had some new music to bring uh, with them. And uh, I think that's pretty badass because, honestly, when you're the Who, I don't think you need to make new music. You Actually, you definitely don't need to make new music. They're the fucking Who, so they can just keep playing the same songs over and over and over until they all die and every one of those shows is going to do well so this is a pride thing this is an honor thing and uh it's it's pretty badass if you ask me the who was a very fun concert that i got to go to a couple years ago i took my mom for her birthday and uh, that was when roger daltrey was having some medical issues so those shows kept getting canceled and postponed and for a while there, I thought we weren't going to end up being able to see it because I went through the same fiasco with both Leonard Skinner and Motorhead where they kept uh, canceling, postponing, or kept canceling it. They said it'd be postponed. They postponed it, then that one got canceled too, and then they end up just never coming to the area again. Uh, Lemmy obviously died, so that's why Motorhead never made it back, and unfortunately leonard skinner never decided to come back through and they're supposedly on their final stretch right now too um but clearly whatever problems the who was going through back then they've fully gotten over and uh they're focusing on making new music which is uh, awesome especially if you look at the fact that they're all like 70 year old dudes not only that they could still perform and put on concerts singing songs that they've been doing for years and years and years but they're adding new music to the mix that, that's pretty cool if you ask me. And the symphony thing, apparently that comes from Roger Daltrey, who did a solo tour last year, the Tommy tour. It was a symphonic tour as well, and apparently uh, he enjoyed it a lot. And a lot of artists have been doing this lately. Um, Weird Al's doing it this year. I don't know if it's a full tour of symphonies, but at least when he comes to Red Rocks, he's playing with the Colorado Symphony Orchestra. And uh, Styx did the same thing last year or two years ago, so it is a... It's a trending thing right now for these uh, Weird Al's not as a sa in the same age category, but you know what I mean. He this is an, a trending ten. Uh, eh, this is a trending thing for these older bands right now. I can't fucking talk. I'm sorry. I need to be done after this video. I think that's all the news for today. So I probably will be. Um, but yeah, more symphony tours. I don't have a problem with that. I personally have never been to one. The closest thing I've seen is a Trans-Siberian Orchestra who, you know, has those local chapters in every city that they go to. That's the closest thing I've seen. And that works well every time. It's an awesome thing. As cool as it is to get uh, opening performance from maybe uh, other classic rock band that never made it as big. Yeah. As cool as that would be, it's not necessary, and I, honestly, the sympathy is just going to enhance the performance um, differently than uh, another band would, um, but it'll have an equally positive impact, I believe, as far as putting emphasis on the main band, which is The Who. Uh, obviously, like I said, last time I saw them, the date kept getting moved. It was a big fiasco. And I just remember Bob Seger's kind of dealing with the same thing right now, too. Um, but with that one, I can't even remember who ended up opening up that show. Whoever was billed to tour with them uh, didn't tour, so they just picked bands for all the makeup dates. And uh, the opener wasn't that good. We didn't really watch them. We got there late. They might have been good. I didn't really give them a chance, so that's my bad. But whatever. I was, I was there to see The Who. One thing I do find funny before I wrap this one up, too, is they're still... I don't know what this tour is going to be called. And, like I said, I'll make another video once they announce that. And once they announce the dates, because that's what I've been doing, they just dropped that they were going to do it today. So I picked up and I, I picked that up and made a video out of it. Um, but in the article and everything, I whenever I look up The Who, you're still seeing who 50 that's still what they're kind of going off of the who celebrates 50 
Um, I went to that concert in 2016, and I still have a shirt. It was a 50th anniversary tour of The Who. And they, they, I think a more accurate depiction would or description would be The Who's 54th or 56th, whatever it really is. I'm not sure, but uh, they're still rolling that 50th anniversary thing, and that's cool. Kiss kind of did that when they turned 40, so I, I got no beef with it. I just think it's kind of weird. So, yeah, The Who is probably coming to a city near you. We don't know yet, but The Who has announced that they're doing a symphony tour this year, hitting 30 arenas across the United States, so that's pretty kick-ass. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like it if you liked it. Subscribe and hit the bell. And also check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash concert addiction. We're posting on there pretty much all day, every day. Whenever news drops, we share it. If it's a concert announcement, a concert tour announcement, a festival lineup, uh, any news pretty much within the live music world, that's what we're talking about on there. And we post that, the mo we update that the most frequently. We also got a website, although the, contact is the content is lacking. You can check that out too, concertaddiction.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.